Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, we're out in the field. We're doing a little bit of primary tillage today, taking advantage of some of the nice weather we've got here at uh, the PTI farm. And I thought I'd stop the tractor and just talk about the trial we're working in and it involves organic corn. So we're doing some primary tillage to set the stage up for our organic testing in 2025. I, I'm new at the organic game. Uh, growers have been coming to me saying, Jason, will you test organic corn at the PTI farm? And in the past, I've said no. I said, I don't want anything to do with organic corn. I don't know how to do it. My ponytail's not long enough, all that good stuff, right? <laughs> but we talk about challenging the status quo at the PTI farm. And, and I didn't want to do organics because it was out of my comfort zone. And I said, you know, this is what we do at the farm. We're going to challenge the status quo. So I said yes to organic corn. So now the question is, if we're going to grow organic corn, number one, why? Why do we want to grow organic corn? Well, if a customer, someone at the supermarket says, that, hey, I'm willing to pay extra money for organic food at the supermarket, from a grower's point of view, I look at that and say, hey, wait a minute, can I grow that organic corn? And can I capture some of that extra money that they're willing to pay for that organic product? That's number one. Number two, how are we going to grow it? Because I can't use commercial fertilizers. And what about weeds? Oh my gosh, what about weeds? We can't spray herbicide on organic corn. What are we going to do? Well, we're setting the stage up with our primary tillage in the fall because I'm, I know that we're going to have to do some mechanical tillage for this organic crop. So we're going to start clean. We're going to start with tillage. We're going to plant the organic crop. And once it comes up, we're going to attack weeds. We've, we've used the Treffler tying unit in the past, we've run this tiner from Treffler, trying to pull small weeds out as soon as they germinate. Did it work? Yes, as long as the weeds are small, it worked. But once the weeds got up out of the ground and they got near three quarters of an inch tall, it was really difficult to remove them from the soil. And so we were challenged by it. If the weather's good, it's dry enough where you can run the tiner multiple times, three, four, five times, it, it seemed like it worked pretty good. You get rained out, however, you've lost it and you've got weeds coming and you got to go get them. This past year, we brought in a Garford row crop cultivator. And I thought this Garford worked great. I've been saying for the last couple of years that we probably need to take a look at row crop cultivation again because of the challenges we have controlling water hemp um, here on a lot of farms in the Midwest. And I'll tell you, this, this Garford row crop cultivator, it's got cameras on it that'll move the, the, the cultivator so you don't wipe the crop out. Now with organics, we want to get as close to the row as possible to get as many weeds out. But with these cameras, it keeps that row crop cultivator dead onto the row. And it just did a super job in the field. And we're really excited about doing more work with, with the row crop cultivators from Garford with the cameras, the vision system on it. And it works really well. My only problem is row crop cultivating in 30 inch rows primarily. And that is something that, that we need, we'd like to address narrower rows. But as far as the cultivation goes, it worked great. As far as the vision system goes, it worked great as well. Now, third, what's the next thing we got to worry about with organic corn? How are we going to feed it? Okay. Now, with nutrients like phosphorus, we've been bringing poultry litter in. We've got access to some poultry litter. Not a lot, but we have been bringing some in to, to help build the fertility up with manure, it would be organically approved. We're also bringing in a product called Finite, which is a 312O uh, product. It, it's, it's made from hog lagoons. They're taking the manure from these hog lagoons, drying it and pelletizing it, and then we can spread it just like regular fertilizer, uh, like we've seen in the past with, with dimonium phosphate. Just an incredible product. I, I really enjoyed using it. Um, it's a 312O. You got to use a lot of it. Um, but I, I thought it worked very, very well this year. We're going to continue trying to use that product in regard to phosphorus and a little bit of nitrogen. Potassium, we've been using a sodium uh, chloride, a product called C90, and we've been trying to use that in, in regard to our platform for potassium. Uh, again, we're new at this, so we're, we're, we're trying to see where this can go. We're going to soil test as we go through and see how we're managing levels of phosphorus and potassium. But these are, these are the products we've been trying to use right now. So now the, the question is, is, is it working? Are, are, are we seeing any yield deficit and are we making any money or losing any money in regard to organic corn? Well, 
in 2023. I don't have all the 24 numbers tabulated yet, but I want to take you back to 23, our first year in doing organic corn. Here is our protocol. A lot of the products that we talked about. Here's, what, here's the protocol of what we did, okay? And I'm not saying these are right or wrong. I'm just saying it's what we did in our first year of organic testing. You can see how we applied it, what went on the plant or things like that. And when it was all said and done, here's where yield came when I compared it to regular commercial corn. We fell short on yield with our organic corn by about 28 bushel corn. We lost 28 bushel. We yielded 28 bushel less than our regular commercial corn. I was a little worried by that, but when I put all the numbers together on everything that, that, that we were, you know, our input costs, and then when I sold the corn, we're looking at premiums, obviously, on the organic corn. It revealed to us that our organic program in 2023 would have been one of the highest return on investment trials that we did on the whole PTI farm. We made over $320 an acre net after paying for all of our organic crop inputs, running all of our extra tillage, things like that. We actually made a very good profit with our organic program here at the PTI farm. So I want to talk a little bit about that. And I wanted to set the stage up for 2025. So as we run this rip, we're preparing for 2025 organic trials. I'm going to set it up differently. Not only are we going to test organic corn, but I'm going to take a step down and we're going to bring in just regular non-GMO corn. We're going to run that program and see how the yield and economics compare of that non-GMO platform. And then we will compare it to a regular GMO program as well. So we'll run those numbers. We're going to keep trying to figure out how to do this smarter, more efficiently, and we'll just see where the numbers lay. But organic corn has been interesting here at the PTI farm. We look forward to testing it in the future.